Hi guys, Barbie for Spurred on outside White Hart Lane. We've just lost 2-1 at home to Southampton in a game where we needed to win it to guarantee second place because of our goal difference. You'll have seen it on TV. You don't really need me to say a lot. There was a lack of intensity, a lack of energy. The tempo wasn't there today. What I'd say about our season, all season, is our tempo and our ability to play one and two touch football and, and grind other teams down has been unbelievable. But today it wasn't there. There felt to me like there was a slight fear of trying anything too, you know, too much passing in between the lines. There was a fear of not getting a result in this game. And as a result of that, I think we didn't get a win or a draw because we were just too passive. It felt like that. Um, I know a lot of people are going to get on Ryan Mason's back. He obviously has the hard job of coming in to replace Moussa Dembele. That is no easy task. And a lot of people have been saying for a while now, they don't feel like Ryan Mason is a strong enough player to get in our first team. And is he a good enough player to have as a squad player? I would still fight for Ryan Mason. What I'd say for him is how hard must it be to try and come in straight away, having not played any games, and replace the likes of Moussa Dembele. As a result of that, other players aren't, you know, they've, they've played with Dembele all season, so they know his movements, they know where each other are going to go, they know how to work off each other. Mason comes in and obviously his confidence isn't there because he hasn't played so much. And so naturally his first touch is a safe touch and his second touch is sideways or backwards. Now, the crowd were then groaning a little bit about that. He started losing the ball as a result. And it's tough on him, it really is. It's a confidence game. He didn't look confident today, but is he a good enough footballer? In my eyes, I think he is. And most importantly, is he hungry and passionate about playing for Spurs? Yes, I think he is. And that is the reason why I wouldn't start being fickle like some fans can be around the country, different clubs, and start saying, bomb him out, bomb him out, get someone in, get someone in. It's not as simple as that. We need to keep the players who are hungry and driven to play for this club and the people with the right attitude, and I think Ryan Mason is one of, them, one of them. Now, do I think we need to bring some players in? Yes, I think we do. But I don't think you just start getting rid of players who have got us this far. And let's not forget how far we've come. We're still in second place. It's still in our hands. We win at Newcastle, we finish second. Today, Southampton did a job on us. They were very impressive. Lots of pace. At fullbacks, they were very quick, so we couldn't get in behind them there, couldn't get in between the channels, in the, uh, between the lines. And then Mane is always a threat. And Stephen Davis got a couple of, a couple of decent goals, you know? We didn't really make any chances. It was it was all on us, I felt. And, um, you know, yeah, very, very depressing. However, it's only depressing because of how far we've come. That's why it's depressing. You know, this, to be quite honest, these kind of results used to happen all the time at Spurs. This used to be how it was, and we'd be fighting for mid-table. And, and, you know, you, you, you know, five, six, seven years ago, or longer, further back, you'd wonder why you keep, kept coming here, because you know, knew you were going to get turned over by teams that you're expected to beat. Thankfully now, it's a rarity. And let's face it, we're all Man City fans this afternoon. If they win against Arsenal, second place is ours. And we deserve second place. We've been the best footballing team in the league, I think, in terms of how the game is played. We don't deserve to win the league. Leicester deserve to win the league. I'll tell you why. Leicester won games like this over and over and over again. They didn't get beat by teams like this. They didn't get beat by teams like Newcastle at home like we did. They only lost three times all season to Arsenal and once Liverpool at Anfield. That's why they deserve to win the league. And anyone else, anyone who thinks that's not the case, they're wrong. They found a way of grinding out results. And at times we haven't. But what a season it's been. What an incredible journey. What a ride. One more game to go. Newcastle will either be down or they'll have to come at us, which will suit us, I think, because we can hit them on the break. They won't be playing as deep as Southampton were. Hopefully, we can just get that win, end the season on a high, go into the next season just as confident as we have been all this. It's been fantastic. Guys, let us know what you thought of that match review and the match in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.